Hi there, this is Lexi here and I want to talk about my journey. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but most of the time I'm wearing a t-shirt, which is my best year ever. By the way, I don't have just one shirt, I have multiple shirts because I just love that text. Um, um, so far, so good. I've been traveling a lot this year. I've been following a lot of courses. I've had a lot of coaching. Um, just so you get an impression, I've been to Roy Martina multiple times. I've been following him for years. He's been coaching me too. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos from Brandon Burchard, but I also have been coached by one of his coaches. Hi, Lisa. And uh, I've been to Ibora Sand. Ibora has been coached by Roy Martina as well. Um, but I've also been to other multiple courses. Besides that, I've been traveling with my friends from the States, which was utmost cool. Uh, specifically one, Lavender Lee. Hi, Lavender. Um, um, we got to meet, um, yeah, well, I suppose through music. Um, he recorded with an artist and I wanted to see music and footage from this artist. And, well, one day we just got to help out one another. And I picked him up from the airport uh, to help him out with his band. And, you know, talking through the night multiple times. Um, having lots of talks whenever he was in Europe, I discovered that we not only had a love for Midnight, the person I'm talking about, but we also had this love for recording audio and video, making pictures, photography. And, you know, when I was about 20 years old, I went to the Academy of Art. And um, back then we had those huge cameras, I mean, um, okay, I'm holding the phone with one hand, but we're talking about the size, well, bigger than the iPad, uh, probably, uh, and much wider, of course. And then we had these huge tripods, which were, um, I think they were about a meter high. Anyway, I would go on the tram and the train. Uh, carrying those huge suitcases with those cameras in there, with the tripods in there uh, for the Academy of Art. Uh, back then, we didn't have any digital cameras. So um, I, I actually did uh, the black and white developing, developing um, in, in the black room. So uh, that's kind of cool. I know how to develop... Um, uh, rolls of film and uh, to put them on uh, actual photo paper. Of course, I've never used it uh, uh, after, after leaving the Academy of Art. Um, pretty soon after, well, not pretty soon, but a couple of years later, um, the phones came out, you know, the... the uh, um, the mobile phones I'm talking about. Um, I had a preference for Nokia phones. And one of the reasons I did was because they had this great camera. And I realized that I didn't always need to bring my normal camera. I could just bring my phone. And ever since, I've been taking lots and lots and lots of pictures. So if you want to know about my life, I always tell people, just look at my phone and then you know where I've been, what I've been doing. And well, I guess that since February this year, so for half a year now, I've been uh, recording all my thoughts uh, on all these videos. Well, honestly, I haven't published many. Well, I have published some actually, if I think about it. Uh, I post some on YouTube. I've posted many more on Facebook, on my Facebook page. That's uh, Chikara CC. And every once in a while I do a little Instagram too. And I, I use it for quotes. I'm not consistent. I should be, I know. I am consistent, however, with recording those 
videos. I'm just not that good at putting them out because I have a high standard. So being a perfectionist, I'm thinking, oh, I should always do it using a header, you know, saying, okay, Chikara CC, well, not presents, but you know what I mean. And, and it was with subtitles and who knows what else, what, what else. And that's probably the reason why most of the time when I've done one, I just post it on my Facebook page because that's way easier. And or I do post it on YouTube, but no, uh, no headers or whatever before it. You know, it's better to have it out there than have nothing at all. Anyway, um, the, the video I was watching from Brandenburg Chart, which is actually about podcasts, um, also was talking about journeys. And I was thinking, yes, if I want to do weekly content, you know, my journey is about recording audio and video and what I've come across, especially this last year, because um, when I started to go on tour with my friend, and wanted to help him out, I realized that I needed more than the camera and I use to take pictures being on the other side of the fence, so from the audience. So I was always very happy, you know, I was able to do 24 optical zoom, not digital zoom, but optical zoom. But, you know, lately I've been realizing that there's still too much white noise uh, and I want to do it better. And during the the touring with them and recording uh, the footage, I realized that I needed better sound because the sound at metal concerts is quite loud. And, you know, it, it just was horrible. So there's a big difference from being part of the audience and just doing it for fun or... Um, doing it on a far more professional level, which I love to do. So, the next couple of weeks, well, actually months, uh, I mean, I've been recording vlogs almost daily, if not weekly, um, for the last half a year. Uh, I'm going to put out uh, little stories on what I've encountered during my trips, um, for those who do not know me, I'm all about mindful trips, um, about living your life with passion and with joy, inspiring others and doing what it is, what you love to do best. And um, right now I'm planning on doing a trip to the States, probably at the end of September, going on until October. Uh, I'm going to combine it with uh, a couple of courses, three actually, um, and it's going to um, include not just flying, but also driving uh, from Arizona to California. So that's going to be cool. I'm not sure who's going to come with, with me, but um, I know I'm going to have a lot of fun. So... That's it for now. Um, what is it you've been working on, say, the last half a year? What did you plan on doing? What's your major goal? Of what have you been fed up in, uh, fed up with in life? And what would you like to change? So, what is your journey, or what would your journey be if you were to start one? Please let me know. Okay, later's.